Hello everyone, my name is Tina Mathur and I am an assistant professor in Biani Girls College. Today I would going to deliver a lecture on the topic ARR. AR means average rate of return or accounting rate of return. ARR is used to measure the profitability of the investment proposal and it does not consider present value of cash inflows. It is also called accounting rate of return because it takes accounting data and uh, its formula is average annual income after tax and depreciation divided by average investment into 100. So, this is used to measure the profitability of the investment proposal which is a technique of capital budgeting. So, average annual income after tax and depreciation first we deduct uh, depreciation when uh, from the sales then we deduct tax then after deducting tax we uh, we take that uh, annual income after tax and depreciation and we divide it by the number of years means the estimated life and uh, divided by average investment into 100. The formula for average investment is half uh, in bracket initial investment plus salvage values that is scrap value plus net working capital. And now let us take the example of average rate of return. So, like there are around uh, 5 projects A, B, C, D, E and initial investment is given of A project is 25,000, for the B is 3,000, for C 12,000, 20,000 and 40,000 respectively. And annual cash inflows are giving 3,000, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000 and 8,000. Life, the estimated life of the projects are given that is 10, 5, 8, 10, 12. So, uh, this is our question. Now, we have to calculate average rate of return out of. Now, let us take uh, the example of average rate of return. So, there are around 5 projects A, B, C, D, E and initial investments are giving of the respected project that is 25,000, 3,000 for B, 12,000 for the C project and 20,000 for D and 40,000 for project D. And annual cash flows are mentioned like 3000, 1000 for B, C is 2000, for D it's 4000 and for E it's 8000. And their estimated life period is giving that is 10, 5, 8, 10, 12. So, this is our question. Now, we have to calculate average rate of return out of this data. So, like annual cash flow means uh, annual profit after tax but before depreciation. So, we will calculate depreciation amount then we will deduct depreciation amount from the annual cash flow. So, depreciation's formula is initial investment divided by life. So, like for the project A, uh, initial investment is 25,000 divided by life is 10. So, it is coming 2500 and for project B, initial investment is 3000 divided by life that is 5. So, it is coming uh, 600 and in the same procedure we will calculate for C, D and E. Now, we will deduct the depreciation amount from the annual cash inflow. So, then we will get annual income after tax and depreciation. So, it is coming uh, 3000 minus 2500, 500, 1000 minus uh, 600, 400, 2000 minus 1500, 500, 4000 minus 2000, 2000, 8000 minus uh, it's 333, 3, 3, it's coming 4667. Now, we have to calculate average investment because our pro, uh, you know, formula is income after tax and depreciation divided by average investment into 100. So, average investment is total investment divided by 2 because service value is not given. So, 25,000 divided by 2, it is 12,500, 3,000 divided by 2, 1,500, 12,000 divided by 2, 6,000, 20,000 divided by 2, it is coming 10,000, 40,000 divided by 2, 20,000. Then we will calculate average rate of return. So, average rate of return is calculated like average annual income after tax and depreciation divided by average investment into 100. This is 4. In this 400 divided by 1500 into 100 that is coming 27. 500 divided by 6000 into 100 it is coming 8 percent. 2000 divided by 10,000 into 100 that is coming 20 percent. 
and 4667 divided by 20,000 is coming 23 percent. So, this is the average rate of return. So, this is the average rate of return in which project A is 4 percent, it is the return on this project is 4 percent, for B it is 27 percent and for project C it is 8 percent and project D is 20 and for E is 23 percent. So, the maximum average rate of return is uh, uh, project B is getting. So, we will rank this project 1, then we will rank project 2 the E and project D will be ranked third and we will rank fourth to the project C and A project will be ranked uh, fifth according to average rate of return for investment proposals. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, share and do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit our website groovekpo.com.